Our scriptural text is from Matthew 5 verse 14. It says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Most people are happier when they are in a light place. Unless we are resting, darkness is depressing and sometimes frightening. Car accidents are more apt to happen during the night, and more crimes are committed during the dark hours. Though there are a few animals and birds that prefer nighttime activity, most of us, plants, animals, and people like the daylight. In fact, it is more than just preferring the light. Without light, there cannot be proper development. Light is actually necessary to life. When Jesus, in speaking to the people, boldly said, I am the light of the world, he was letting them know that without him the world would be a very dark place, and that only by letting Christ live in their hearts could the people truly have life. Now, it is understandable that the great God of heaven should be the source of life-giving light. But, in our text today, Jesus told the people that those who follow him also become lights. In fact, he refers to them as the light of the world, the same name that he gave himself in John 8 verse 12. How can this be? What happens is much the same as what takes place when you hold an unlighted candle with close to one that is lit. Almost immediately, the second one catches the fire and instantly, the amount of light is doubled. So it is with us Christians. As we draw closer to Jesus, loving Him because of His great love for us, we cannot help but catch fire. Our light is added to His greater light, and our corner of the world becomes a better, brighter place. Long ago, the women in one section of India had an interesting custom. When they traveled the jungle paths at night, they tied tiny torches on their ankles. With each step, the way was made bright, not only for themselves, but for people who might be traveling without light. The bright Christian life that we live is a gift from God. You and I, by His grace, are responsible for sharing it with people who otherwise will walk in darkness. May we then do our part to have the light of Jesus, His unconditional love, that we may be able to shed that light and give brightness to people's lives. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us again next week for our weekly devotional reading.